Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of uh, Vue.js project, we will learn how we can integrate API for update restaurant. So first of all, I just want to show you what we have done in our last video. So whenever we are clicking on a update action, our form will be pre-filled on the behalf of the ID of restaurant, right? We integrate the API for that and this is working fine. So in this video, what we will do, so let's say after just uh, uh, prefill this data, user want to change some phone number or address or uh, restaurant name, user want to just update the restaurant and we will integrate that API uh, for update restaurant, right? So first of all, we have to make a function for update restaurant, then we have to call API. We will redirect to the user after updating restaurant and at the last, we will test our flow also. So now let's start. First of all, uh, let me open the update.view. We already have a function uh, click event and we are calling a add restaurant call, uh, a function on the click event, but there is a no function with the name of add restaurant. So I am just updating it with the update restaurant. And after that, we can uh, just define methods property. like this right and uh, let me just make this function and this should be a async function so because we are calling our api inside it so i am putting here async keyword great so to save our time i just want to uh, copy the code from our uh, you can say that uh, add restaurant page because we already done that code and we just need to change a little bit of this code so that's why we can just copy this code and paste here so let's simply paste this code here like this and uh, for a moment i am just going to comment this code out why i am commenting it i will tell you but let me just make a console dot warn here because i want to show you that we just uh, update these fields and we want to check the this dot restaurant property the data will be updated in our uh, these name address and contact properties also because they are binded with the two ways right so let me just simply put here this dot restaurant and now let's check out this the output here so even we don't need to refresh it but still i just made a refresh whenever i'm just clicking over it you can see that we are getting the data properly with the contact uh, address and all so let's say i just want to change something here and again, I will just click over it. Now you can see that address is updated. That means if we just uh, send this data, this dot restaurant data to our update API, it will be work fine, right? So now we can just uncomment this code from here. And uh, after that, let me put here restaurant ID also plus and how we can get the restaurant ID from our route like this and here we are pasting it great so after that it will return return 200 not 201 uh, because uh, 201 is returned when uh, any data is created in our database but for a moment it will return 200 because we are just updating this data and keep in mind we have to put here post put request not post request because as i told you we are updating the data not inserting the data all right, so now everything is fine. Now we can just uh, try it out to update. So let me just uh, refresh it and let me get so that we can get the default data. This is the actual data. And now I just put, put here restaurant, uh, restaurant address is Noida sector 30. And whenever just clicking over it, now you can see that uh, the data is updated here. So let me try with the, any other restaurant. So let's try with the fourth one. And here I just want to change this address, let's say daily Saket and uh, phone number is let's say double three double three or something. And whenever I'm just clicking over it, this is also updating. So with that way, here you can see that with that way we can update our restaurant. So after this video, there is a, only one video is uh, pending, which is for delete the restaurant and uh, this will be uh, created soon. So thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye, take care.